We've all seen schools of fish or flocks of birds moving beautifully as a single unit, almost as if they have a collective consciousness. And this is one of science's greatest mysteries. And it got me thinking, could human beings behave the same way? In about 20 minutes or so, this cinema is going to fill up with a few hundred people, fingers crossed. And they're going to be taking part in an experiment. And the thing is, they have no idea about what this experiment is about, and I'm not going to tell them anything. But it all comes down to this plastic paddle with a red and a green side. The question is, will they be able to figure out for themselves what it's all about? Our guinea pigs in this social experiment are visitors to Birmingham's giant screen. Now, each one of them has been given one of the reflective paddles on their way in, and watching them all from beneath the giant screen are cameras which record which side of the reflective paddles they're holding up. Our crowd don't know it yet, but the experiment starts as soon as they sit down. So people are looking at their paddles. Everyone's sort of looking at it and they're wondering what on earth it's for, like, what is this for? Oh, look, here's something interesting. Now, look, here we go, look, everyone's... Suddenly, everybody is holding their paddle up to the screen. <laughs> and they're making the connection now, almost instantaneously. Just a couple of people did it, and then suddenly everyone did it. You can see them pointing as well with their fingers. They go, oh, look, there's me, there's me, there's me. Another thing the audience don't realise is that we've actually divided them into two teams, and we're going to introduce something else, the classic video game Pong. Obviously, we've updated the graphics a bit, but the aim is still to bounce the shark across the screen and pass the opposing team's bat. The teams have to work together to control their bat. It'll only move right to the top if they all show green at once, and the more red that they show, the further down it moves. OK, that's amazing, because it's all about cooperation. So between them, they realise that some people have to be red and some people have to be green. Of course, it's very, very difficult to keep it moving because you've got to get the right amount of people showing red and the right amount of people showing green, depending on where you want it. And obviously, these guys are just sort of sensing each other, just sort of feeling it and working it out amongst themselves. Right, go red! Oh! They just got it in time. In hardly any time at all, each team is suddenly working as one. Here's the incredible thing. This has happened with absolutely no instruction whatsoever. <laughs> Pong was always my favourite video game. <laughs> what made you decide, oh, I'll do a bit of green, oh, no, I'll do a bit of red? Well, I know most people are going to go red because everyone's shouting red, we'll go green. I can't believe, like, the way it works. <laughs> How that's coordinated, I've no idea. 